Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to make a video for those of you that may be new converts or those of you who may be, you know, seasoned converts, which may not how, know, you know, how to study the Bible using your cell, cell phone. Um, or maybe you're seasoned and uh, your cell phone, you know, is kind of, you know, you haven't figured out how to use it yet for the, for biblical purposes. Or maybe you're just looking for new ideas. So I'm going to try to show you a couple of ways you can study the Bible using your phone. A couple of things that I like to use for my channel, uh, my personal use, and things like that. Okay, so the first and easiest one is the, uh, the Bible app. So if you notice here... Um, there's a lot of different Bible apps out there. Um, the one I use, um, they're, they're pretty much all the same. Some have better features than others, but here I can I can read the Bible. I can read any book in the Bible there is. Okay, and then um, if I go back, I have a daily verse. That's my daily verse for the day. Thoughts, you know, it leads me in prayer. Um, you know, search the Bible if I want to search a topic. I can search the entire Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, Gospels, you know, so on and so forth, or each individual book. All right, so this is a Bible app. Now, the way I get that is um, I go to the Play Store, and I just put in Bible, Bible apps, and there they are. There's nice little Bible apps. Lots of study Bible stuff like that. You can get a Ning language, any any um, any translation you want. You can get it in. They're all there, as many as you want. All right. So, getting out of that. Okay. Now let's get out of that too. All right. Now, as far as searching for scriptures, now I can use the Bible app to search the scriptures if I know where the scriptures at specifically. Okay. But if I don't, all you have to Google will help you find the scriptures. Okay, so let's go to Google. I've already looked up something today. All right, so um, let's say um, let's say um, um, how about we look up uh, let's look um, sword. Of the spirit, oh, wrong one. spirit scriptures. Okay, you put in that. Okay, what does the Bible say about the sword of the spirit? Open Bible dot info. So you click on that, and here you have every single scripture. Mostly that deals with the sword of the spirit. All these different, you know, um, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test as you tested him at Massa. It is the Lord your God who shall fear him you shall serve and by his name you shall swear. You know, it goes on and on about all different things that pertain to the sword of the spirit. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. For the word of God is living and active, sharp than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the soul and the spirit. Of joints and marrow, discerning the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, you know, that's one way that you can find topical searches of certain topics. Okay? Um, so that's one way you can do it. Now, um, let's say, let's say you want to search um, for a scripture, but you only know part of the scripture. Okay? So let's see here. Um, how about... Uh, um, uh, how about a story, story of Ahab, because I want to know about Ahab from the Old Testament, okay, story of Ahab, so you go here, it tells you where it's at in the Bible, 1 Kings 16, you can go down, um, let's say you want to know specifically about his, uh, death, so, um, so story of Ahab's death, okay, Put that in. Tells you 1 Kings 22. So once you get there, you can either put, go to your Bible app, or you can put 1 
Kings. 22. Okay. Come up here, Bible Gateway. Click on that. There it is. First Kings 22 right there for you. Read the whole thing. You can read it in any translation you want. Anything. Okay. Um, how about um, word studies? Word studies. How about... Um, so... So let's see here. Okay. So word study. So let's go to, let's go back. Let's do 1 Kings 22 interlinear. Interlinear. Okay. Um, like on that. This will tell us the different words that are used in this passage. This is written in Hebrew. So here it is in English, three and pass between the war without years. Okay, so let's go down to the part about, I want to look, look, what is the word for spirit when it says the lying spirits? Okay, so, all right, so what we notice here is, is that it says uh, a spirit Yahweh has put look of all in the mouth lying. Now the English says lying spirits. So, um, we find out here that in the original text, um, the word spirit is actually not in the text. What they did is they added spirit um, to help you understand what the meaning is. Okay? So, if we want to know what lying is, why they put lying spirit, let's click on this. Cure. So, here's the actual word. Okay. So, let's click on that. Let's find out what it means. Um, it's a false witness, okay? So let's go up here. Um, so it's like a, this is how many times it's used in the Bible and how it's actually used in other places. Okay, so let's find the number here. Uh, so... A number, let's go down. It's actually used a lot in the Bible. Okay. Strong's Hebrew number 8267. So that's the actual, okay. So, decept, what it means is deception, disappointment, falsehood. Uh, it's a masculine word. Shakur. Uh, deception, disappointment, falsehood. Okay. So one of the one of the things it could be is lying visions, lying visions. That's one of them. Uh, NASB translation, lying visions. Okay. So we can see here why they came up with the word spirit. It doesn't actually say spirit in the original Hebrew. But the, the meaning of the word gives the idea that there's lying visions, perjury, slander, treacherously, useless, vain, wrongfully. You know, so this so this is a tool that you can use. You can just look up interlinear and it'll tell you the word study and things like that. All right. Um, another thing. Another thing. Let's look up. Um, let's go to YouTube. So I'll show you YouTube. Okay, uh, let's go to YouTube, here's actually my channel, here's stuff that I watch on my channel. Okay, so let's look up um, one of the things you can do on YouTube. Um, uh, how about, um, uh, let's see here, Jesus. Jesus commands. Okay, this is something I like to watch, but this is a, it's a recording of every all the G commands that Christ gave while He's on Earth. You know, I like to read them, I like to listen to them, and do my best to obey them. So that's one thing you can do. Um, you know, uh, another thing too is um. You can search things, okay? Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, James 
one sermon. Okay? And you have here a lot of people preaching on James 1 sermon sermons. So it talks about James 1 teaching you things. Alan Parr here is a pretty good uh the beat. It's a pretty good um channel. I like to watch some of his stuff. But one that's very important you should know as a Christian is you should know Bible Project. Bible Project. So on this one, they do little adult if cartoons. you tried to describe what God is like, it could be difficult or daunting. They like, they like well, to do adult cartoons the Bible, the of to help you they understand the Bible. describe God's character in this way. Compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, overflowing with loyal love and faithfulness. We're going to look at this. Okay, so Bible Project something you can do. But you can search sermons on there. Um, uh, another thing you can do. Let's see here. Um, another thing is you can actually listen to the Bible audibly while you're driving in your car. So let's put, let's say, the book of Hebrews. Let's say that you're an old-fashioned guy. And you want to listen to um, King James Version. So you put King James Version. Okay. You have, here you have King James Version, Holy so Bible. So the fun thing with the serpent is, how does a um, serpent talk? Commercial. But what, and not only that, but why is the serpent's punishment? The Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews, Chapter 1. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in... So you can listen to the whole book of Hebrews in the Auto Bible. Um, so that's some of the things you can do with your phone and studying the scriptures. Okay, there's lots of things that you can do um, that you may not realize. Um, you know, there's different, you know, this this right here, our daily bread, is a devotional app that I have on my phone where I get a new devotion sent to me every single day. Uh, I can read it in the morning or whatever, um, you know, to start out my day, you know. Um, let's say that you don't have anybody to pray with you, okay? Another thing about YouTube. So let's see here. Um, if you, if you want to pray for healing, prayer, oh wait, prayer for healing. Okay? So you pray for healing. You go here, somebody here on this channel is going to pray with you for healing. So that's something that you can look at. And you can have them pray with you. You know, you click on it. Welcome to the prayer for healing in Jesus' name. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself, speak it daily, or listen to this video over and over again. And allow the Word of God concerning healing in Jesus' name to reach deep into your spirit. Let it All right, so if you do that, that doesn't mean you're going to be healed. You know, the Lord has a purpose for for pain and suffering on the earth at the present time. So, but you could be healed. There's been people that have been healed. Um, you know, most most of the time in modern generation, people just get better. They don't necessarily get healed miraculously. Uh, that's very rare. I'm not saying it never happens, but most of the time it doesn't. But a lot of times people get better. You know, some people have went and got, you know, testing done for cancer and went back the next week, went and took it again, and it came up negative. It just happened. I mean, it, it's... Things like that have happened, that's true. But, but anyway, that, that's a whole other video. But the point is, somebody can pray for you for healing or for anything you can possibly think of, okay? Just a little lesson today to help you guys find out how I stay the Bible, how I um, how I approach things. Uh, I do want to show you one channel, which um, I like to go to. If you go here, um, you put... 1,050 New Testament commands. I like to go here a lot. Um, this channel here. So I like to go here. This is this is New Testament commandments. This is the law of Christ. So it has here all the commands, you know, written in an organized form. Seven things to avoid. False science. First Timothy six twenty. I mean, it's just it's 1,050 commands in the New Testament. Okay, uh, three things to pray for. 
after this manner prays, you know, ask, seek, and knock, pray in the Spirit, four things to prove, you know, four things to rejoice in, hope, blessings of others, the Lord, suffering for Christ, it has a scripture reference. So, it gives you all the commands in the New Testament of how to walk by faith in Christ, okay? And, you know, it, they're all there, and if you find you're doing something wrong, repent of it, um, continue to do what's right. Uh, James 5.16, confess your faults one to another. So I've sinned, you know, in this area. I've made a lot of sins in these areas. I repent of it. I try to incorporate these laws in my life and work hard to, to follow them and trust Christ for salvation. James 1.2, account of pure joy as you're tempted, you know. Uh, you know, and then 1 Timothy 3.8, you know, deacons must be, and there's a whole list there. Uh, Mark 10, 19, defraud not, you know. 1 Corinthians 14, 1, desire spiritual gifts. All these commands in the New Testament, you might not even realize there's a bunch of commands in the New Testament, 1,050. So that's a little thing for you to help you walk by faith in Christ. Not to be law-keeping to earn your salvation, but to walk by faith in Christ. So that's my lesson today. I hope it's helped somebody. God bless you. Have a great day. And, um, yeah, uh, see you next time.